Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Corey with the Mills team, and I'm here with Taylor with the Mills team. How are you doing today, Taylor? Good morning. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. Today, we're going to talk about what the market's doing. Um, there's been a lot of changes as far as interest rates, inventory, prices, and our goal is to educate you on what we're seeing and uh, just give you an overview on Texas, some different counties that we cover, and talk a little bit about some of the larger towns in those counties. So let me share this screen with you guys so y'all can see the data we're talking about. Um, to kick it off, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Texas real estate market as a whole and just a snapshot of what we're seeing. So in Texas, all across the board, we're seeing roughly a 20% median price increase to 350,000. And that's compared to April of 2021. We're seeing an increase in active listings um, to 3.9% per, increase in active listings. And in Texas, it's taking eight days less to get a property under contract and sold than it did in 2021. Now, a lot of people will say, okay, active listings are going up, inventory is going up, um, closed, sales are, closed sales are down a little bit. We're still very much in a seller's market here in Texas. Uh, we're 1.3 months of inventory uh, available on market right now. And the more we get into these rising interest rates, the more data we'll have to kind of talk about what those are doing to inventory levels and to prices. Uh, right now, you know, looking at interest rate increases last month and at the end of March, we're still very early in being able to interpret what that data looks like. So uh, now Taylor's going to talk a little bit about Grayson County. Okay, so Grayson County as a whole, you can see the median sales price has gone up over 20%. Active listings have gone up over 25% compared to last year. And then days on the market have dropped 17 days less um, to get it under contract and sold than it was in 2021. And closed sales are up almost 10%. Um, but if you look at months on inventory, we're still at that 1.6. And something that I kind of like to explain to my clients, because Everyone sees, you know, uh, with interest rates going up, you know, they're asking, are prices going to come down or what's going to happen? And although we've had almost a 25% increase in active listings, with looking at those days on market and the months on inventory, you can kind of see that there's still a very high demand there. And in any other market in any other year, um, obviously, we would still consider this a very um quick moving market, a very high seller's market. So when people see that increase in listings, um, yes, that's a great thing that we do have that increase, but as you can see, it's still, things are still moving very quickly and there's still a very high demand for houses. And then you can also see that, and we'll just briefly talk about the trends that we're seeing in Sherman and Denison, obviously in Grayson County, but you know, Sherman uh, median price up 22%. Active listings, a huge increase compared to uh, April of 2021. And, um, but once again, there's still just one month of inventory. It's up compared to last year, but um, there's a lot of buyer demand that is taking care of the active listings that are coming on market. It, it essentially, and like I said, we're still early in being able to interpret the effects of rising interest rates. Um, but there, there's still a ton of buyers out there that are, that are looking, um, which is keeping this uh, median sales price on the rise. Same thing with Denison, median sales price up almost 30% compared to April of 2021. Uh, active listings up 55%. And this is good. This, is, this gets us into a healthy real estate market, having more inventory um, to where it's a little bit more balanced and it's not so much... Uh, just chaos whenever it comes to needing to sell, needing to buy, and just the whole process. Still 1.4 months of inventory, closed sales up 40%. So you can see that the active listings, there's still the demand. Uh, Taylor, talk a little bit about Cook County and then Gainesville and all that good stuff. So Cook County is very interesting. As you can see, the median sales price has actually dropped um, 18%. Active listings are up 17% and closed sales are also up 19%. The months on inventory are 1.3 compared to 1.2 last year. So if you look at Cook County month by month, the median sales price overall for the entire county is down. But when we move over to Gainesville, you can see that in Gainesville specifically, the median sales price is still up 10.5%. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but 
overall, when you look at it yearly, there is a trend with prices going up. Um, active listings are also up 22.7%, and then closed sales are up over 100%, so that's pretty crazy. And then months on inventory are 1.2 compared to 1.5 from last April in 2021. So even though Cook County as a whole has a slight decrease in sales price, uh, over or Gainesville alone has gone up over 10%. And if you look at it from the bigger picture, they have, the prices have still been trending quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also very important to note, you know, these are very small data sets. So like when you see active listings up 22%, well, that's 27 listings. Um, closed sales up 111%. That's 19 closings just in Gainesville. So these are fairly small data sets. And that's why you can see such variations of, you know, sales being or median sales price being down and up is because we're not, we're not pulling from a, a a ton of sales in Gainesville and Cook County. There's just not a whole lot of inventory over there to compare to. Um, so don't look at that micro set of data and associate that with the whole town of Gainesville or all of Cook County. Uh, each property, each neighborhood needs to be analyzed uh, on its own. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up because from a consumer standpoint, that is kind of confusing to see those numbers and kind of you know, work through why are some up and one down. So that's a very good point to make is that it's a very micro set of data to go or go off of. Exactly. And um, next, we're going to talk about Fannin County uh, median sales prices up. And I would say um, just from just from watching these numbers over the past year, Fannin County, in my opinion, has seen some of the most uh, most market activity growth just with the number of active listings, the number of, well, this says closed sales are flat for April, but we've seen a lot of new inventory come to Fannin County. Um, obviously, values are going up, uh, 1.7 months of inventory on market, so there's, there's a lot of demand. It's still very much a seller's market, and uh, if you're a buyer in this market and you're seeing these numbers, it's still very important of who you're working with and knowing that you're with a professional who knows how to get offers accepted how to structure an offer that works for you, but also is something that's appealing to a seller. So uh, definitely contact Taylor, contact us, anybody on the meals team uh, to talk more about that. And then bottom is kind of the same thing, you know, median sales price up, active listings up, uh, closed sales are up and see, this is what we're kind of getting at with new inventories coming to the market. Yes, but it is being eaten up by buyer demand and we're still just 1.3 months of inventory on market. So um, that's what we've got, uh, to share with you guys today. We just want to continue to bring data on what the market's doing. Obviously, like I said earlier, each specific property, each neighborhood, each town, you have to look at it with its own filter. And that's something that Taylor's great at. If, if you want a market analysis on what your home could sell for, or if you're considering a refinance or whatever it may be, talk to Taylor about that. Taylor, is there anything you want to add before we hop off of this? Uh, I just kind of want to reiterate too, obviously we have seen interest rates rise and I think in the next couple months we will see kind of what that does to the market and what trends follow after that. We're just kind of giving a general dive into what has happened at the very front end of it. So sure. over the next few months, we'll definitely see how that affects the market and what things are changing. Overall, obviously having more inventory for the most part in every county and city has been great. Um, but there's still a very high demand and there's a lot of buyers out there that have been kind of sitting back waiting to pounce on this new inventory. And that's what we're seeing happening with those closed sales up as well. Yep, absolutely. Um, Taylor, thank you so much for your time. And guys, like I said, if y'all have any questions about real estate, reach out to the meals team here at Keller Williams Realty. Taylor can get you taken care of. I'd love to help you out. Hope you guys are doing well and we will talk to you soon.